this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. Last time, we got a side quest available at the Dunamis from Nemesia there. I don't want to do that right now. I want to get back to the main storyline here, so let's go back to the front side, press the Y button, and go back to where we left off. But yeah, I don't want to do that side quest yet for Nemesia, because we're almost done with Chapter 1, and well, I'll be finishing it right now. And that, that'll that unlock another side quest from her, so we could just do both of them at once there. Yes. So yeah, let's just wrap things up here first. Yeah, if you recall, we heard that the agent that we're going to be meeting up with is on the east side of the city. So logically, we should go in the opposite <laughs> direction first. Absolutely. Well, you don't have to lie just because you're within earshot of the soldiers. Oh, yeah. I remember uh, Heist was saying something about that. What is it? I wonder who leads the resistance. Eh, it's probably not important for us. Maybe we could help him out. It would help in the war effort, to be sure. Now let's see what we got going on up here. Hmm, I wonder. Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I don't want to make an example of it, huh? Yeah, it's not really relevant to us. Well, that's what she says. I don't think that that's necessarily true. Not really our problem, though. Know? Electric justice! Uh -huh. No. No, they probably don't have electric justice in this game. That's another game. Well, yeah, it'd be kind of hard to fight a war on two fronts like that. Uh -huh. oh, no, I already talked to you. Um. You can only talk to the people that are closest to you. You can't talk to people in the upper row there. Damn. Well, that is the general idea. Shoplifters will be beaten to death. I thought I heard some pretty unsavory things about the former king. But I guess it's kind of late now. Isn't that rather redundant? Well, you're doing all right in the war, holding your own. <laughs> Not for long. Not with me on the case. Hmm. If only. Well, remember that guy for later. That is one thing I really like about this game, is how they have some NPCs that foreshadow stuff later on in the game for yeah. whether it be just mandatory plot or side quests or whatever. They usually don't just come out of nowhere like that. So I like it that they build things up a little bit, but not so much that it's like just a wall of de details that there's just so many things to read through. So, just a little bit for some flavor there. But yeah, I thought Cygnus was uh, neutral yes. in this war. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought they were, like, lending mercenaries to both sides of the war. <laughs> we got some of them. Aww. No, I don't need to talk. Wait, what did you say? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, where would you go for that? <laughs> well, I guess I got an in, like some of the soldiers were saying. Not that I really need to rest up there, but it's available. I mean, I could just warp to my free healing point whenever I want. <laughs> well, I'll do the best I can for you guys. Hey, hey. how's it going? I do? I don't really feel tired. Dude! You're like six years old! <laughs> puff puff massage? No, no! What is wrong with you? Say. Oh, okay. 
I, I don't want to know. I, no, 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 just no. But I do want to go in here to get some treasure. That's the only reason I really came here. And paralysis is a kind of a weird status element in this game, and that cures it. You don't need to lie. It's not like there's soldiers around here. But yeah, paralysis. I forget which one it locks. I think it prevents you from using skills, or maybe it's items. I think it's skills. And then there's a random chance if you enter in a command, you won't be able to act for that round anyway. Hey. So it's not like a guaranteed you're gonna lose your turn every time. But yeah, I kicked their ass already. You can do that? Oh, huh. well, yeah, came from somewhere. Or anyone up here? No! Okay, never mind then. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I heard about that place before. Wasn't there that guy back at Alistair? Was looking for. Was looking for something from there. What were they? Conuts, I think it was? Welcome. Hey, how's it going? Do you have any produce from Cornet Village? For instance, Conuts? Yes. Yeah, I don't know if you need to talk to this guy in order to advance the side quest. I don't want the seed. I just want information on how to grow them. I'm a vendor, not a farmer. Hmm. Well, we have no ability to go there right now. But remember that for later. Yeah, I don't think you have to do that to advance the side quest. Because if we did, the game would have said, Hey, you have advanced the side quest with a little fanfare thing. They have organic food in this time period? Well, let's see what this guy has for us as a side quest. Um. You could tell by my clothes? I think they actually spell his name consistently in this version of the game. Please. In the original, sometimes they would spell his name Hill Star, not Hill Stir. But sure, yeah, I'd be happy to help you out. Well. I mean, like, uh. Selvan or DS or something? Correct. How impossible could it possibly be? Well, we did already fight a giant boar, but yeah, we already ate the meat. Please. And besides, it's not the boar that we're looking for. Why don't you just ask a vendor? Wouldn't it be quicker? Yeah, they got plenty uh. of produce here. Why's that? Oh, okay. So yeah, we couldn't use the one we found in Grand Play for some reason. I see. The vendors can't get those items for you due to the war. Nice. That's, that's correct. Hey, hey, all right. Please. Okay, so even though this guy is saying that he's giving you the Thank option you to only get one of the two ingredients. If you do get the first ingredient, but not the second one, don't talk to him yet. If you do that, it'll prematurely end the side quest and you will not be able to get the reward or complete it. You'd have to get it all over again and getting the boar meat is very difficult. Mm. Especially at this point in the game. You can't get the other ingredient for a while anyway. Well, they're trying to end the war. Well, not really, but they're trying to win the war. And I would imagine that might solve your problem. You'd have more fertile land to use for yourselves. What is it? Oh, yeah, I think one of the other guards was telling us about it. Well, the Alistair soldiers can go to a bar when they want. We got a bar right in the castle for them. Let's check him out. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Say, 
Oh, really? Just like the other timeline. I wonder if kicking their ass in the other timeline would affect things in this one, too. Yeah. I thought it was uh, Colonel Diaz who was the... Welcome. Well, maybe not the brains, but he was the military tactician or something. Well, I guess they're both kind of working together. I do like how they get along with Damn. each other, though. Well, yeah. She's a queen. What did you expect? <laughs> well, yeah, that's probably true. What do you mean? Nothing, evidently. Worshipping young boys mm -hmm. for some reason? Mm -hmm. Did someone ask me a question like that before? Huh. I think there was like no. a kid back at the Alistair weapon shop? By the way. Do I know what? Oh, really? Good for you! How powerful could he possibly be? <laughs> well, anyway, that's everything we can do on or at downtown Grand Org. So now let's head on back over to the commercial district or whatever it is on the east side of the city where, well, if you recall, that's where they were saying that the agent that we were supposed to meet up with is hanging out, I guess. I don't know. Where is this guy, anyway? Well, he's got the same uniform that all the other spies have, except me, for some reason. But I don't want to talk to that guy yet. Hi. Well, yeah. It's a desert. What did you expect? Well, eventually, we're working on it. Well, maybe you should try the country life. Well, remember that guy for later. <laughs> Kicking your ass, evidently. Hugo seems to be doing a pretty good job of doing that. Uh. Not if we win first. Oh. For some reason, I was having a hard time talking. No, no, I'm just a sword dancer. Oh, really? Well, maybe we should check it out. I am actually going to buy something here. Not a weapon, but might as well take a look. Yeah, they got slightly more powerful weapons. Nothing that I'm extraordinarily concerned about. Yeah, it might be good if you wanted to boost Rosh's speed, but he'll be fine with what he's got. And... Uh, besides, I want to spend my money on something else here. The Metallic Cape for out there. Yeah, it's got really good stats for this point in the game for her. And she could use all the help she could get because of her relatively low HP. No accessories that I want to buy here. But I do want to change my setup just a little bit here. Let's see, I'm not going to be using Rainy or Marco here. So we might as well remove all of their stuff. Let's see, let's put you on a weaker sword or something. Whatever. To give you the most powerful armor that we got. I want some charms to help out with my magic damage there. Let's see. With Raj, give him the next best suit of armor. To help out with your speed a little bit there. Not that it's a big deal, but take what you can get. I think that's pretty good for now. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. What do you mean? <laughs> oh. Well, more money the merrier, I guess. <clears throat> hmm, I wonder how we do that. I mean, they were kind of talking about it. And here we get Mite Herbs, which are actually a pretty good uh, stat buffing item. It's basically the 
item equivalent of the power-up spell, which is the physical equi equivalent of the magic boost spell. However, I think, if I recall correctly, the items give slightly more of a boost than the spells do. Because, well, they're consumable, so they better be more worthwhile. So I use them every now and then, especially early in the game, when I don't have the power, power up spell yet. But yeah, if you recall, we had a side quest from the little girl back at Alistair who wanted us to pick up a replica of Erica's ring. But yeah, they don't have it here. But I think you have to do this talk to this guy to advance the side quest, unlike the other guy with whatever that other side quest was. So you're the one this meeting was arranged with. With the Kona or something or other. <laughs> How's it going? You can tell by our outfits. That's right. You're the agent? Yes. Do you know the password Walt sent me? No. No, that's not the password. But I want the short, short this version. Is the message. Well, yeah, she is a princess. <laughs> oh, really? Huh. Assassinate Princess Erica. Not Queen Protea? That's unusual. <laughs> Maybe they want to take out anyone who's in line for the throne first. And then take out the queen or something. That is all. Why are you going that way? You're assassinating the princess. That's not the way out of the city. By any means necessary, huh? I had a feeling this would be a really important mission, but... An assassination? <sighs> well, you're secret agents. It's part of the job description. But, okay. Welcome back, Stock. Hey, how's it going? You've safely reached Granorg, but you've been entrusted with a grave task. Well, it's just another day in the office for Stock. Only, remember this. You are the one who decides what to do from here, Stock. What do you mean by that? Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. But yeah, this is one of the few chapters that ends without a climactic boss fight, oddly enough. By the way, we have a favor to ask of you. Oh? Something else? Hmm? Something more beyond halting the desertification? This task is indirectly connected to that goal. Alright. Suppose I'll at least hear you out then. More side quests? To make a long story short, we'd like you to help out a friend of ours. Where are they? This person exists in quite a peculiar place. It's called the Vault of Time. You're the only one we can ask. Does it give me an extra turn? No. No, that's another game of yours. Can you tell me more? It's a world in a temporal chasm, isolated from the flow of time. So you call it that because it's been locked away from the rest of history. Hmm, I wonder why. On to our request. The guard watching over the vault is in grave danger. Please save him. I can do that. How do I get there? You will be able to access the vault from here. Please let us know when you wish to go. So yeah, now we have access to another area in the game. And we get a little side quest pertaining to that, too. Just in case, do you want to record your action? No, I don't think so. I think we're good there. But before going back to uh, check that out, let's see. I want to go back to this part of the timeline, not to advance the plot. Oh, yeah, we got uh, that monocyte ability, too. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to stick with standard history. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that, Stock. You got it. But yeah, I'm not gonna put that to use. I'm only coming back here because we have, well, the free healing point that we can take advantage of here. So just go up to the bed there. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, a hidden That's treasure. I wasn't planning on getting this now, but it's there. That was a Panacea Plus item there. Let's see. That's a Panacea is uh, like the recovery spell. It recovers any status ailment, but this one works on everyone in the party at once. So that's pretty nice. But can we save the guard at the Vault of Time? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!